We are going to figure out the inverse Laplace of 6 over parentheses with s minus 1 inside and then raised to the fourth power. And this is how I would recommend you guys to do it. For the 6, let's just take it to the front. And then we have the inverse Laplace transform. On the top, I will just have a 1 now over, this is going to be s, which is in red, and then minus 1. And for the 4, break it down into 3 plus 1, right? So let's put this down, 3 plus 1. And the reason that we do this is because whenever we have something to the n plus 1 power, as long as the top is n factorial, then we know what that is, right? It's going to be t to the nth power. Well, this right here, we have the 3 for the n. On the top, I don't have the 3 factorial though, right? But it's okay because I can go ahead and multiply the 1 by 3 factorial. However, this will change the whole thing. But as long as you remember to divide that out, it will be okay, right? And if you notice, 6 times 1 over 3 factorial, they pretty much cancel out because this is the same as 1 over 6. And yes, you could have kept the 6 earlier on the top. But once again, you should just bring the 6 to the front and then manufacture the factorials that you need and divide it out. This way, it's more systematic, right? So let me just cancel this out for you guys first. And right here, let's see what do we have. First of all, we are subtracting 1 directly toward the x, right? That means when I go back to the t world, I must multiply by e to the 1t. Once again, because we have s minus a, the a value is 1. When we go back to the t world, we must multiply e to the at. And a is 1, so we have just pretty much a t, right? And then when we have uh, 1 over something to the 3 plus 1, and on the top we have the factorial already, this is going to give us t to the third power. So the answer is e to the t times t to the third power. Do not put down plus c because this is not integration. That's it.